You're a little welcome. Take a moment and try this out, and then we'll solve it together. All right, so it tells us to algebraically determine, and we'll, we'll look at this graphically as well, but algebraically determine whether this function, j of x, equals x to the fourth minus 3x squared minus 4, is odd, even, or neither. So let's just, let's just quickly define what this means, what, th what this is saying. So an even function, I think of a parabola, means that f of x equals f of negative x. What does that mean? Well, imagine you have a little parabola. Okay, let's say uh, it's x squared. Whoop, here's a parabola. Now, when you plug in, let's say, 2, and you square it, right? So let's say f of x, in this particular instance, is x squared. Well, if I plug in 2, what's the output? It's 4, right? 2 squared is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Boop, boop. So I plug in 2, I get 4. If I plug in negative 2, what happens? Boop. I get negative 4, right? A positive 4, excuse me. Negative 2 also, right? Negative 2 squared is also 4. What does that mean? Well, this is what an even function does. Now, an even function basically says if you plug in a value or its opposite, you get the same output. So in this case, we're saying that f of 2, which is 4, equals f of negative 2. And in general, we're saying f of x equals f of negative x. That's an even function. So if we're going to prove it algebraically, we're going to plug in x and negative x to this thing and show that we get the same output. For an odd function, let's do odd next. Odd functions, I think of a cubic function. And basically, the way I think about that is that if I plug in a value, or it's opposite, they're not the same, like an even function, they are opposites of each other. So this tells me the opposite of f of negative x equals f of x. And a quick way to maybe draw that out, let's just draw a cubic function. And let's say, it's really sloppy, 1, 2. Uh, I, I could probably get away with 1 and negative 1. I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Okay. All right, so sloppy graph. But the idea is uh, this is 1, this is negative 1. If we plug in 1 to our function, our output is 1 cubed. I'm saying that, in this case, f of x is an odd function, x cubed. And it does work that way with power functions. A power function is just like a variable to a power. And if you have a variable to an odd power, it will make an odd function. And a variable to an even power will make an even function. But it's not as always as simple as that. Um, like this is not a power function. It doesn't have just a variable to the fourth. There's some other stuff in there. So we have to evaluate it. But anyway, if you plug in 1, 1 cubed is 1. If you plug in negative 1, though, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, times another negative 1 is negative 1. And you can see here that what it's saying is, look at this. Well, if I plug in 1, I get 1. If I plug in the opposite, I get the opposite answer. This is always true. Right? The even function has symmetry on the y-axis. This has symmetry on the origin. And that just means that, in this case, if I plug in negative 1, it doesn't equal, sorry, if I plug in, I'll erase that, come on, Sean, ah. if I plug in f of 1, I'm not going to get the same as f of negative 1, I'm going to get opposites, right, the opposite to make them equal, so like the opposite of negative 1 is 1, that's always going to happen, so we can prove this is odd by plugging in x and its opposite and seeing that we get opposite results. If we don't get exactly the same thing, like an even function, or exactly the opposite, it's neither. So without any more suspense, let's do it. So let's see what happens. If I plug in j, if I plug in negative x to j, what would happen? I would get negative x to the fourth minus what? 3 times negative x squared minus 4. Well, negative x to the fourth, that's just x to the fourth. Right, those four negative x's multiply to a positive x. Negative x squared is x squared, so 3x squared, minus 4. And look at that. We're at the exact same thing as before. So this is what j of negative x equals, but that also equals j of x. So I would make a statement. I would say, since, uh, I'll say it, but I would write it out. Since j of x equals j of negative x, we know it's an even function. 
But as promised, let me show you that on a graphing calculator. So um, clear up some old functions here. We'll see that, that it's an even function. So we have x to the fourth. And then I already forgot what I was doing. <laughs> minus 3x squared minus 4. Okay. Minus 3x squared. And then minus 4. In the graphing calculator, I just press zoom 6 to give me a standard zoom. Let's see what it looks like. So there it is. You can see that, even though there's a little squiggle in here, if you take anything on this side and reflect over the y-axis, you can see that you get this side. And that's the definition of an even function. But if you go to the table, you can also see, let's look at some um, opposite values. Now I have a weird set right here. Let me fix that second window. I want to go up. This tells me what to go up by, what the increments are. I'm going to go up by ones. Let me go back to my table. See, if you plug in one, you get negative six. Now if I plug in negative one, I should get the same thing. And there it is. One or negative one both get me negative six. And if I scroll up, we'll see some more of that symmetry. 2 and negative 2 both get me 0, and so on and so forth. 3 and negative 3 both get me 50. That's the even function. And I'll scroll up a little bit so you can see. I think right down here, we have some nice symmetry in the window. Right there. So from 204, all these, you can see these values reflected for opposite x's, and that's what an even function will do. All right, thanks.